Hi, my name is Christopher Leung. I'm a member of Project Possibility, and I'm also a developer on the Power Reader project. I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of the Power Reader software. The first thing that happens when we start Power Reader is a default text file is loaded Hello and its and contents are read. Power by Christopher we can Reader cancel playback by clicking the stop button. To begin. And we can start playback by clicking the play button. Hello and welcome. You'll notice that each word Power being read by Power Reader is also being highlighted in the color red. We can control the appearance of the text area using one of three buttons. The background color button allows us to select a new background color. The foreground color button allows us to select a new color for the foreground text. The highlight color button allows us to select a new color for the highlighted text. I'll change the text color back to red for highlighted words. Blue. Another feature of Power Reader is the read speed slider. Moving this slider to the left slows the rate at which text is read. Moving the slider to the right has the opposite effect. Your right power reader currently supports loading. I'll return read speed to a normal rate. Power reader. Bye. Power Reader uses Java 3D, which means that this text actually lives in the 3D space. If I right click and drag with the mouse, I can move this text around in the 3D space. If I use the zoom level slider, I can move the text forward and backwards in this 3D space, effectively zooming in and out. Zoom level is also mapped to the mouse wheel, so I can scroll up and scroll down to zoom in and out. I can even drag at the same time. Another benefit of using Java 3D is that I can pick items Hello. on the screen. Welcome. Read Clicking it. on a word will Hello. highlight it, and the text-to-speech will read it. Follow words is a feature where, when hitting the play button, we follow the current word that's read. being read. Our reader currently. This helps the user keep focus on the word that's currently being read by keeping it in the center of the screen. Loading. Another Up. way to keep the Plain. user's focus is Text. to make words grow. Files. You can see that the words Hello. that are being read and are well also being enlarged in size. Show images offers a different Power. form of communication about the word that's being read. We're actually connecting to Google Images and loading an image of the word that's currently being read. You can see that I'm also adjusting the size of the Welcome. image to adjust for different monitor resolutions. Our reader. You can see that the image is attached to the word that's currently being read. The audible speech option allows me to enable or disable spoken text. If I combine these Hello. features, I get an interesting effect. And welcome to our reader. Bye. Welcome. I'd like to introduce another feature of Power Reader. This is the dictionary definition feature. If I middle click on a word, the definition of a word will actually be retrieved from the internet and read by text to speech. Welcome. Definition of welcome greeting given upon someone as arrival of for more greeting. As always, I can stop someone, playback by clicking the stop by button. Especially by saying welcome to accept. I'll now retrieve the definition of power. Power. Definition of power. Physical force or strength. Control and influence over an. This is a great way to learn more about a word without putting any additional information on the screen. I've just loaded a completely new text file into the 3D space. Default All the same features are available to me. You I'd like to introduce a completely new feature now, yeah. which is level of focus and level of detail. Often, users are distracted by too much information on the screen at a single moment. By adjusting the level of detail slider, we can reduce the amount of detail on the screen to a paragraph, sentence, or word level. I have no window decorations. 
at this feature oh, still works in conjunction with all of the other features we've described previously. Used on its own or to provide your own. The level of focus slider adjusts the focus level of the highlighted text. There you can you can also specify that the frame. We're actually no focusing on a sentence now However, rather than a single word. Similar to before, I can pick individual sentences by clicking on them. I can increase the level of focus to a paragraph window level. Decorations are supplied by the native window. And you'll notice that I can pick individual paragraphs Besides by clicking on them. Who provides the window decorations. And I can increase the level of focus to a document level. Specifying you can see that the entire document is now highlighted. Window decorations the purpose of this feature is to control the length of the interval of text that's being read at a given moment. I'm going to combine the level of detail feature with the follow words feature. This puts the word that is currently being read window in the middle of the screen, and it hides all the other texts in the document. Decorations this helps the user to focus supplied. on the word that's currently being read. Also, we can combine this with the Show Images feature for an interesting effect. By the native window. system. However, you can request. You can see that this starts looking similar to a picture book. Eventually, we would like to add the feature where the user can control the images that are associated with each word. Power Reader gives you the ability to change the source from which images are being retrieved. I've just selected Yahoo Images as the image source. Now I'm changing to Flickr. And you can see that different images are being retrieved Request. for the same word from different sources. I'm switching back to Google Images now. Request. There are several other useful options in the Options panel. You can change the source for dictionary definitions. Eventually, you'll be able to also switch the font face and the voice personality. Right now, you can select different actions to be associated with different mouse buttons, and you can enable or disable mouse wheel zoom. The line width slider allows you to change the width between different lines of text. Now, here's a fun feature that allows you to adjust the depth of the text on the screen. You can really see that this is actually a 3D space. Now, this feature is just for fun but its purpose is to demonstrate that there's many more possibilities in the 3D space for Power Reader. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I invite you to visit our website at www.projectpossibility.org. Thanks, and have a great day.